Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, there's a number of different Chrome plugins that I've had developed by an outside developer. I don't own them. Uh, think of it more like sponsoring. So I paid him to make them and it's just different ones that uh, people ask me it would be useful or not. And uh, so think of it like NASCAR sponsorship. It has a t-shirt bomb sticker on it. It's not my Chrome plugin. I'm just really sponsoring the development and maintenance of it so it works for you. Hopefully that makes sense. And uh, this developer is Gravy Code. He's out of China. He's a good dude. Uh, he's, actually, he's out of Australia. His name's Matthew, but uh, his company is called Gravy Code. So if you look up top here, you'll see a number of different Chrome plugins. Uh, and I'll go through probably these three now, but there's a fourth uh, as well. So if you look at the plugins that I run, it, step one is LastPass. If you don't use it, it'll absolutely change your life. It's the greatest thing on the planet. Uh, if you can marry it, you probably would. Then I use ZenMate, which is a uh, proxy service. Uh, you, you just turn it on and you can, you know, if something blocks you, it's a quick way for me just to go around it and see what was on the other side. Why did it block? Uh, all awesome reload all tabs. I'm a tab junkie and a lot of times on restarts I just want them all refreshed so I click that. Uh, this is the one we're going to go through right now but T-Shirt Bomb Imager and it's a, a really simple uh, downloader of images on T Teespring campaigns. Uh, Colorzilla, I'm colorblind so a lot of times I don't know what color this shirt is or button or whatever so I just have this little color picker. We also have uh, Pin Bomb which is a Pinterest sorting tool and uh, search bomb which is kind of a uh, well you'll see it but it's Facebook it does different Facebook queries uh, to surface shirts so it's kind of a fine shirt ideas type of tool so let's let's go through and let's start with uh, t-shirt bomb imager and we need a teespring campaign Let's do this one. Looks like uh, an official Rolling Stones shirt. Great. Once you go to the page, all you have to do is click on it, and you'll see right here this popped up scroll down, and it's going to go through and populate all the different uh, options that are here. And again, all it's made to do is to quickly download them so you can get access to it. So if I click on this image, it's going to open up a new tab and start grabbing the shirt. What I like to do though is have this set, which is download on click. So instead of opening a new tab, once I click on that, it actually starts up, let me pull it over, I jumped on my other screen, it pulls up a uh, download directly to your computer so you don't have to right click and do a bunch of stuff. It just does save as to wherever you want it, right? So quick and simple, you can turn this on and off and uh, when you we click, click on it, it puts that highlighter on so you know that you've grabbed it. Really simple. It's not supposed to be ad factory at all. It's just to grab a shirt and download it really quick. And uh, you can either go this option, open it up in a new tab, and then uh, save image as, or right here, new or uh, download on click. So let's take a look at the options really briefly. Uh, there's a few here. We'll go through options first. And this is that download size. You can set it to whatever you want and then hit save. So it's kind of like the standard format that you want to download the standard photo size. I do 1200 because that was kind of the old newsfeed size. Maybe now it's a thousand, whatever. As long as it's this width to me, it's the, the big enough size that I need. So pretty simple there. Uh, this leads to Matthew's Facebook page, Gravy Code, new shirt. If you want to launch a new shirt on Teespring, this loads up the designer there, you know, whatever you want to do. And uh, this takes you directly to analytics. So if you're looking at that shirt and you go, ah, what are my what are my exact numbers on it? If you click on analytics, it'll take you there. And then shares and likes so far. And it just goes into Facebook graph code and, and pulls up that URL and how many shares it is. So it's really simple. It's, it's made to download this image. You know, before we had to right click on this and then we had to do this and we had to do that. Now you just have this. Chrome plugin right here and it takes care of that and it just downloads them quickly and easily for you. So that's it. This is the first 
I think there'll be four. Who knows? Uh, maybe if you watch this video in the future, we'll have 10. What do I know? And it's really what uh, users in the group request. That's exactly what we'll make. If you have any questions at all, hit me up. Uh, I'll be inside T-Shirt Bomb. See ya.